Eight. Patrick Mahomes retires today. He's the best I've ever seen and there's no conversation. He goes into the hall with no vote. It's almost become laughable. We should probably stop critiquing regular season woes and struggles. Just wait until championship weekend and watch then. Our I mean, are, we, are we just not? I'm tired of it, right? Because I'm always like, hey, I'm a bet against Patrick Mahomes. People are hurt. The tackles suck. The wide receivers <laughs> can't catch the ball. Patrick got to lose now, huh? Oh, wait, he's on the road. This is our chance. Patrick's is going to lose. No, he's not. After the a wild card game I tweeted I was like you know what the Kansas City Chiefs could fool around and win this because they have Patrick Mahomes and a good defense but the main part was that they have Patrick Mahomes when you watch this dude execute yesterday against a Baltimore Ravens defense that's one of the best we've seen in the last decade it was absolutely phenomenal and what I love about him now is he understands how to take his foot off of the gas to put his team in the best position to win the evolution of Patrick Mahomes has been phenomenal because he went for being the best player in the world one way to continuing to be the best player in the world in a different way by becoming a better leader. I he, think it's amazing. He's now played six playoff games between last year and this year. He's 6-0 and in them, and he has not thrown a single interception. Now, of course, Tom Brady is the GOAT, and he deserves to be recognized as such. He did it for so long, and that is part of the conversation. Longevity definitely plays a part in the GOAT conversation. But if you look at the relative positions where these guys were at the same times in their career, Patrick Mahomes is very much on his way to making a legitimate run at being the greatest of all time. You see, if nothing else, the numbers of passing yards and all that kind of stuff. Explain the quarterback piece of this. Because what Mahomes does, just to my eye, better than anyone I've ever seen, is he can do the spectacular but he can do it without making the big mistake. It's uh, Aaron Rodgers had that, but this is the yeah. next level of that. He never makes the big mistake. He never throws the interception. He's the best game manager in the sport, and he makes plays I've never seen anyone else make. Patrick Mahomes is the biggest rule breaker in, in the history of the position. <laughs> he, he does so many things that, as a quarterback, really from the first time you start learning about how to play the position, you get taught don't do, and he does it more consistently and better than anybody ever. And that's why he's the rule breaker. Greeny, he has changed the way that the NFL looks at the position and changes the way the NFL kind of values the position. I also think that when you look at yesterday's game, the game plan again was spectacular by Andy Reid and Matt Nagy, four strong. Four people to one side of the formation. They're flooding the formation. And they did it in a multitude of ways. The condensed bunch with the RPO. They fake the ball. They lead with two blockers out front. They kick the ball to somebody on first and ten. And now we've got people two on two blocking out in front. So you see that four strong condensed bunch RPO. Okay, so can we do it in a different way? We start in empty. Now we're going to motion Pacheco. Last time it was bunched down that four strong. This time it's a spread out four strong. You motion Pacheco. You vertically stress people. You horizontally stress people. And then you continue to allow protection with your tackles to get help. And then this is easy for Patrick. He sees that defender widen. He sees the defender dr drift off. Ball out. This is what RC was talking about, the leadership. This is what you were talking about, the game management. Now this is just a set formation. Floor strong. No motion. We've got a huge moment in the game where everybody, all 11, are within eight or nine at the line of scrimmage, and they're really trying to double-team somebody. Like, is Kelsey getting double-teamed? Is Rice getting double-teamed? That safety's just got vision on it. And then Patrick Mahomes just floats that ball up over to MVS. So, like, multiple ways that they got into that four-strong formation are really the story of the game outside of Patrick and Travis Kelsey's, especially in the first half, Connection. Rex, you were an all-time great defensive coach oh, yourself. Yeah. You coached against Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, the best quarterbacks of, of their era. How do you, as, as you envision what it would be like to coach against this guy, I mean, where, how does he measure up with those guys? Thank God I'm sitting here. Because <laughs> there's, I, I, I can tell you this, you know, you guys are right. Like, from a physical standpoint, nobody close to this guy yeah. ever. His mobility, yeah. the, the way he can throw from different angles and all that, the way he can, <clears throat> can look the defenses off, it's crazy. We never see anything like it. And by the way, you talked about the best game manager of all time, mm. as if that's a negative. Like, people look at that right. as negative. No, that's the best thing you can say about a guy. He doesn't put his team at risk. And I look at it this way, too. Look, not only has he not thrown interceptions like the last six games, all right, the last two years in the, in the postseason. All right. 
He's taken five sacks. He refuses to take a negative play. He doesn't put his team at risk. And that's maybe the greatest thing. Like, he, he's going to make plays, and then he's, gonna, he's not going to let you put him in a negative yeah. situation. It's crazy the, how good the, he is. The last play to me is truly a microcosm of the evolution of Patrick Mahomes. When Dan shows you that play, they're trying to double, right? So you're trying to figure out, is it going to be a double on Travis Kelsey or is it going to be a double on Rasheed Rice, who has emerged as his number one receiver outside? So Patrick Mahomes is in the pocket and Marquez Valdez-Scantling becomes the right guy to throw the football to. Correct. Other quarterbacks think players over the right decision. Oh, I have to give it to Patrick. Maybe I'll throw it here on the dump off, see if he can get yards after the catch. I'm the best quarterback in the world. Maybe I could fit it in to the double team to Rasheed Rice. He doesn't make those decisions. He goes to a guy that literally lost a game for this team this year, mm -hmm. that he continued to back, he continued to support, and he continued to throw the football to. And it was the right decision, but also look at the throw. Look how relaxed oh. Patrick Mahomes is in the pocket. He didn't aim this football. Patrick Mahomes wasn't scared that he was going to miss this throw. Yeah. He knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I could throw this football in between the two ones, and all he's going to have to do is catch it. And I think for Patrick Mahomes, this is a defining moment of his career, not just because you go on the road and beat the MVP or the number one defense, but because you do it in a way that's different from how you came into the NFL. Yeah. That's what growth is about. He's become a quarterback that, like, chokes you out. Like, he's inevitable in many ways. Like he Thanos. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he is just inevitable. And, and he did it, again, we talk about them being vulnerable, certainly less offense than he's had. Their defense was, this is the best defense that he has had, defense. I think. These two quarterbacks, one who is on his way to being the greatest of all time, the other who was Mr. Irrelevant. Dan, what is your first impression of the Super Bowl? That, that it's greatness on greatness. And here's this. I, I, I've picked against Patrick twice. Last year's Super Bowl, I thought the Ravens <laughs> would, would, would win this past weekend. I ain't doing it again. And I, I think if Patrick wins this, he gets the three. I've always said that to get into the GOAT conversation with Brady in people's public narrative, he's got to get five. He's the greatest player that I've ever seen, but this would get him three and well on his way to getting into that combo. Rex, what's your first impression of the Super Bowl? Uh, I, I just think Patrick Mahomes against this 49er defense. Look. If, if I can sit back and watch TV and tell you what coverage they're in, what's Patrick Mahomes going to be able to do? He's going to be like, what? Hey, it's cover four. We're going here. It's cover three. It's like it's going to be an awesome display by Patrick Mahomes. Mark it down. Watch what happens. RC, how about you? I think the thing I'm most excited about is Tom Brady's heir apparent as the greatest of all time, facing the guy whose career most resembles Tom Brady. You think about Patrick Mahomes and all that he's accomplished with his talent, with his intelligence, the things he's been able to acquire since becoming a pro, but also Brock Purdy in only his second year, much like Tom Brady, leading his team to the Super Bowl in what seems like insurmountable circumstances. And now he gets an opportunity to not only see me himself as the franchise quarterback, but as a guy going forward that could be one of the best in the league. He still hasn't lost a playoff game that he finished. And as we look at where this game sits right now at ESPN bet, the Niners right now are a one point favorite. This game opened at two and a half just that quickly. It got bet down to one. The over under is 47 and a half. Mahomes is three and oh in his career against San Francisco. Each game has combined for at least 50 points between these two. Why is Dan smiling that way? at? Because I'm, I'm stupid. One, I, I'm not that stupid to bet against him three times. I, he's too good of a player. He just went against the best defense in the last 10 years and comfortably gave his team a 10-point lead like that. And I think that this game is going to you're, – you're going to see Kelsey and those tight ends have a big pass-catching day against San Francisco's defense. I, I just think Patrick Mahomes is that great. What happened – how did the 49ers become so mortal? 
There was a moment in time when I was referring to this year's playoffs as the San Francisco Invitational. Yeah. They were humiliating the best teams in the league when they went head-to-head -head with them. Now, all of a sudden, they barely get past a Green Bay team. They need a late drive. They barely get through well, yesterday after come from 17 down. Yeah, I think, I think if you watch the game, like, it, it's football. Right, teams are understanding the way that you can run the football on them, how you can attack those zones. They're starting to get film. And also, every now and then, it takes people to see you get punched in the mouth by other people in order to stand up to you.